How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, and welcome back. Today, I got an exciting video. Honestly, uh, I, I just saw this today, and yeah, I was very excited. So, what am I talking about? That is uh, Bioshock 4, or as its name in progress, Bioshock Isolation. This is all a rumor. Take it with a pinch of salt, as always. You know, this could all turn out to be fake or could be the real thing. So the, this is all coming from a Twitter user at Oops Leaks. And that, you know, so that's at O-O-P-S-L-E-A-K-S, one word. So, you know, check out their Twitter, their thread if you want to see everything. I'm going to be showing a few of their images. But again, all the information from today's video is from Oops Leaks on Twitter. And yeah, um, you know, it's an account recently created and they've been gi giving a lot of Bioshock information, Bioshock 4. We're gonna get into it. So the working title is Bioshock Isolation taking place in a brand new dystopian city. So not Rapture or Columbia, you know, all new city. And there's an interesting little new, uh, like, info where the reason they don't, they don't call it 4 is because, I guess, going forward, supposedly, of course, they could end up calling it Bioshock 4 Isolation, is that the rumor is that uh, games that take place in, like, new locations, like this one, will go by, like, whatever the place is called, whereas... I guess titles that still have to do with Rapture, you know, because of course Rapture's a very, there's a lot to explore in the city. So titles that follow Rapture or that sort of thing, the original story, you could say, uh, will be number titles. I don't know if that's true or not, you know, it sounds kind of eh. But yeah, it's a brand new city. It's going to be running on Unreal Engine 5. So I'm assuming that means next gen only. There was no, you know, uh, what it'll be on, but we can assume all consoles and PC as the Bioshock series has always been multi-platform. Except, I mean, originally it was an Xbox exclusive, but that was because the 360 had come out at one year before the PS3. So obviously, you know, there was nowhere to put it. They weren't going to put it on the PS2, but eventually it came to all platforms. And yeah, it's just exciting. So it's being developed by Cloud Chamber, which if you're unaware, is made up of mainly X Irrational Games, the original developer. Just mainly a bunch of X, you know, them. Like, uh, people that work there, they work here now. Uh, sadly though, no Ken Levine, you know, the mastermind behind the whole series. He's been long gone ever since 2K, uh, Take Two, I should say. You know, the, the big dog, the publisher, they own GTA. See if we get that exclusive, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, ever since they shut him down back in like 2013, he's been long gone. He's not back, you know. He's hard at work at his in-studio game at his new place, you know, Ghost Story Games. So we wish him the best. And hey, I'll be on the lookout for anything, you know, the guy comes up with. He's a genius, in my opinion. And yeah, um, so it was a new city you know, isolation, and it's pretty cool where it's two cities in the sense of, like, one above ground and one underground. It's like, like a mirror image almost, where, like, you get it? It's like the flip. Two cities and one. Not open world, surprisingly, but yeah, it's just two places where the upper city is, like, the, you know, you're more the wealthy, and it's run the leaders like a successful entrepreneur, so we can imagine the more, you know, snobbish, like crumpets and tea type of people up there. And then the Undercity is more isolated, run by a dictator, who are the essentially the ones waging what they call the vertical war, since the cities are literally right above each other. And, you know, this dictator and the Underside are essentially the instigators. And, of course, the middle, like the in-between of the two, cities is like you know where the war is like raging on the most but yeah I, I like the concept i mean admittedly when i heard it though or like you know reading it uh i just thought like oh so what is this the top is like the u.s and then the bottom is north korea 
I mean, think isolated city, state, country with a dictator. Hmm. Huh. You get it. I mean, you know, games always have to <laughs> tie in some form of message, right? I mean, it's a little on the nose, but hey, I mean, if you got that too, you know, shout out to you. You're not a dumbass. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I, I'm excited to check it out now. I've played a bit of the first game. Admittedly, as with most, you know, the whole series, I have the, you know, the collection on Xbox One, so I have all games with all the DLCs, so I definitely want to jump in, I mean, you know, it's just part of the back catalog, you know, you just have so many games, but this um, it's rumored to be revealed at earliest the Game Awards, so literally in a month, uh, well, actually, no, what, isn't that like, damn, isn't that like a couple weeks away? Whew. time flies of course this video is getting released like november 30th so literally tomorrow's december crazy damn this is, we could literally be seeing this as soon as like two or three weeks from now holy shit but yeah uh if not it's more speculated to be early 2022 like january so we're gonna see it within the next two months you know just to give it a broad paint you know paintbrush yeah, so it's exciting stuff, but I, what do you guys think? I think it sounds really cool, the concept. Um, you know, Bioshock, so, again, I've never played them, but I've always, I just love that sort of, like, dystopian, like, society they depict. And, uh, hey, look, uh, Burial at Sea 1 is one of my all-time favorite trailers. Again, I didn't own Infinite, oh, I do now, but you get it, when it came out back then. Uh, I didn't own it, but I just watched the trailer, and seriously, like, the atmosphere, the vibe, I mean, sad to say, but I think they do the whole, like, old-time, you know, setting better than Bethesda. Yeah, look, I know you're gonna martyr me, you know, give me the JC treatment, but I'm sorry, like, I think they do it better, I, like, I rapture, like, I just love that, like, Columbia, it's awesome, and yeah, the trailer, you know, where Booker, like, you know, lights his finger. He's like, you got a name. And then, of course, he meets Elizabeth. Spoiler, his daughter. <laughs> you know, where he's calm suck. Yeah, I, again, I I love the series enough, even though I haven't played it. You know, I, like, watch playthroughs. I know the story. But I'm definitely going to jump in, you know, jump into Rapture. And then Columbia and up to, you know, the lead up of this game. And who knows, again, it's rumored an announcement soon. Release date, if I had to guess, I mean, this might come out, like, what, earliest next year? Like, holiday next year? Or I, just me, you know, being more realistic, I expect it probably, like, 2023. I think that's, like, a, a good, you know, guess. And if not... Uh, early 2024 I don't see them doing like holiday unless it's like a massive game I mean then again it is two whole cities settings we are exploring so it, cool stuff but yeah guys I just wanted to talk about that Bioshock 4 again I, <laughs> I look I'm gonna be honest there's not a lot of games that really caught my attention I mean I I'm kind of lukewarm on Halo Infinite now with that god-awful monetization they're doing and yeah this here's nothing really coming out that i care about like literally the only two games i'm looking forward to um are i think they both like if they don't get delayed come out in february so next year which are elden ring and then the evil dead game which i've been looking at it man that looks sick but yeah this year kind of don't really care anything so i'm hopeful again Maybe it comes out, like, late holiday 2022. I'd be excited for it. But what do you guys think? Bioshock 4. Are you looking forward to it? Again, it is mainly ex-Irrational Games people. So it's not a situation where it's, like, someone completely new. It is mainly the original people. Just, you know, not Ken Levine isn't back. But you get it. It's pretty much it's the same people working on it. So... I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful it turns out great. And yeah, just Bioshock. Uh, gonna check it out, definitely. But yeah, guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. 
If you stuck around, thank you. Truly appreciate it. And as always, if you like this kind of content, I make new videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays. As always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All that good jazz. And as always, I've been your host, Soxie. Take care, everybody.